In this video, I'll talk about interpreting results, accessing books and articles, as well as refining your search results. Let's take a look at our results. We get about 84,413, which is quite a lot. On this first page, we have a combination of books and articles. You may sometimes see results that do not quite fit in with your search. For example, hierarchy of hair stigma loss. Sometimes, find it at U of SC will search through the full text of an article, and the name Shakespeare does appear in the full text of the article, although in this case, it's a different Shakespeare. I'll talk more about how to filter out some of these results in just a minute. But first, let's talk about some of the source types you'll see, as well as access options. With this search, we're seeing books and articles, although sometimes you might see things like book chapters or streaming films. You might also see duplicates, as in this case, Women in Shakespeare Dictionary is listed twice. We have it online as well as in print. For books, when you click on the title, you might be given table of contents or additional information. If it's online, if it's an ebook, you'll also see availability options. You can click the link to access the full text. You may also see books that have a note that reads physical access temporarily prohibited, followed by a link that reads full text available at Hathi Trust. University libraries are members of Hathi Trust, and due to COVID-19, Hathi Trust is able to provide us with temporary emergency online access to about 50% of our print collection. You can click the full text available at Hathi Trust link to read the book online. Due to Hathi Trust's understanding of copyright, you cannot download any portion of the book. You may come across print books that are located at Thomas Cooper Library, and I'll cover this just in case you're on or nearby the Columbia campus. Book requests must be made in advance through Find It at U of SC. This is because all of our book stacks are closed and only library staff can pull books from our shelves. Once you click on the title of the book, you'll see an option to sign in and you can request the book. It'll be pulled and held for you at pickup at Thomas Cooper Library, and you'll receive an email when the book is available. Expand My Results will pull in sources not available from university libraries, but this you may have to request from another library, either using our Pascal service or our interlibrary loan service. Therefore, I'm not going to check this option at this time. Under Availability, there are a couple of options I'd like to point out. You can limit to available online, and this limits to only items that are available online full text. There's one caveat, and that is that Find It at U of SC does not realize that some of our print materials are available online from Happy Trust Temporary Access Program. So if you limit to online, you may miss out on books that are available to you online from Happy Trust. If you want scholarly peer-reviewed articles, you can also from here go ahead and select that option. Creation date is the date that the source was created. For example, for a book or an article, this would be the publication date. Under resource type, you will see a list of different source types, for example, books, articles, book chapters, and more. I do think from here journals is a little misleading. If you were to click journals, it would just limit you to um, journals that are held by university libraries. If you're looking for your scholarly peer-reviewed articles, um, as I pointed out earlier, if you scroll up a little bit under availability, you'll see peer-reviewed journals. I would use that option to limit to scholarly peer-reviewed articles. The last one I'll talk about is subject. And here, find it at U of SC. It's doing its best to help you narrow down sources um, by a specific subject area. And these subject terms have been assigned maybe by the publishers or some of the catalogs or other like databases where this um, content is being pulled from. So it's not perfect, but you can try. Maybe you might want to example limit to theater. Um, you could try criticism and interpretation. I mean, again, this is a way to just help narrow down those results. Um, so this concludes my overview of Find It at U of SC. Um, I hope you found it helpful. My goal was to really provide an overview for how to get started with um, searching, locating, and accessing sources, as well as refining. Your results, if you have further questions, um, please do not hesitate to contact me.